Welcome to Travelzilla. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. Come say hello. This is the first of a series of videos about the Discovery Coast of Brazil. Have you ever heard of Caraiva? I'm going to show you Caraiva at daytime, nighttime, the food, the beaches. Get ready and let's go. So once you get to Brazil, you need to make sure you buy a flight to Porto Seguro, which can be reached by plane from most major Brazilian cities. From Porto Seguro, you're going to make your way to Caraiva, which is one of the many towns and villages located within the municipality or county of Porto Seguro itself. This area of Brazil is called the Discovery Coast because this is the place where the Portuguese navigators first started Brazil, they first landed here. Many of these local houses belonged to fishermen for centuries. Tourism is a new thing around here. In order for you to get to Caraiva, you're going to make your way to one of the boats and ferries that link downtown Porto Seguro to the town of Arraial da Ajuda or Village of Help in English. By car prices will range between 450 and 550 US dollars for the car and for the driver plus one extra dollar per extra passenger. Without a car, it's only going to cost you a dollar per person round trip. You can use two different types of boats to go across the river to Arraial da Ajuda, a smaller boat for people only and the ferry for people and cars. Keep in mind that you only have to pay when you exit downtown Porto Seguro. You will not pay to come back into the city center. Cars aren't allowed in Caraiva, so take the bus, a van or taxi there. If you drive anyway, you're going to have to park your car across the river from the village itself and it's going to cost you 15 reais or $3.75 US a day. The bus will cost you around $5 each way and leaves at both 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. all year round. From Arraial da Ajuda to Caraiva, it will take 3 hours total on the bus. If you're not driving and plan to get on a bus or van to get to Cariva, make sure you make a ride after you exit the boat or ferry, because that's where the buses and in the high season the vans to Cariva are located. You'll buy your tickets directly from your driver, but get there 20 to 30 minutes before departure just in case any changes are made and you have to get tickets at the counter or something like that, okay? Buses leave every day at 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. and in the high season vans also go there back and forth a couple of times a day. As mentioned before, bus tickets cost 20 reais or 5 US dollars per person each way. If you decide to take a taxi directly from the airport to Cariva, prices may range from 350 to 450 reais or from 87 to 112 US dollars per car. So if you're going there with family or friends, it will be worth it because you'll be able to share the cost of the trip. Several tour companies offer transfers or tours to Cariva for 120 to 120 reais or from 27 to 30 US dollars per person. If you decide to go, don't take a day tour, stay there for a couple of days. In the high season, vans depart from Arraial da Ajuda to Cariva for 25 to 35 reais or from 6 to 9 US dollars each way. But if you have a lot of luggage on you, forget about it because you won't fit in. Take a taxi or take the bus. After three hours on the bus, you get to the entrance of the Cariva Conservation Area. Before you enter, you'll have to pay 10 reais or $2.50 in conservation tax and wait to get on a canoe to the other side of the river to the village of Cariva itself. It will cost you 5 reais or $1.25 US to go across the river and the ride will take between 5 and 10 minutes. Cariva isn't so far from Mount Pascual, the first peak seen by Portuguese discoverers when they first visited Brazil, which officially happened on April 22nd of 1500 by Portuguese discoverer Pedro Alvarez Cabral. The village of Cariva is located 70 kilometers or 43.5 miles south of downtown Porto Seguro and has just under 1,000 inhabitants. Even though Cariva is located in the continent, it feels like an island because it's surrounded by two rivers and the sea, of course. 
The village has no ATM machines, so make sure you pay for your hotel before you get there and make sure you take enough money for the local tours and restaurants with you, okay? The first Portuguese settlers got here in 1530, which makes of Caraiva the oldest village in Brazil. But oddly enough, the village only got access to electricity in 2007. When you come here, make sure you don't bring a lot of luggage with you. The streets have been purposely left unpaved and they are covered in sand, the same sand you'll find at the beach. So most of the local inns known as pousadas are located anywhere from a 10 to a 15 minute walk from the small port. So imagine how hard it is to move around on sandy roads, okay? If you're traveling with kids or the elderly, or if you happen to carry a lot of luggage with you for some reason, don't hesitate and hire a donkey taxi. Most of them will charge you from 20 to 40 reais or five to 10 US dollars, depending on the amount of luggage, the amount of people, and the season you visit Cariva. Hey guys, so my name is Rodrigo and you're watching Travelzilla. Today I'm in Caraiva in the southern shore of the state of Bahia, in the northeast of Brazil. Brazil was discovered around this area and I'm gonna show it to you, okay? So let's go. Come on. Well, I stayed in the wonderful Pousada Jambrero guest house. If you wish to know more about it, please watch my review. It's right here on Travelzilla. The link is at the description. At the review, I talk about prices, show you the amenities, the room, breakfast, so on and so forth. Don't miss out, guys. The village of Cariva is very rustic and charming. You will see many interesting houses, coffee shops, guest houses, and bars when you go for a stroll around the town. You can even buy fresh fruit from vendors riding their donkeys around town. It's pretty amazing. Like these guys who were passing by this cafe very close to my hotel. The beach isn't far away at all. It's a five minute walk from the Jambrero guest house. It's very close indeed. The color of the waters change according to the tides. When it's low, the beach turns into various shades of brown because of the waters coming from the Caraiva River. The river's sediments, minerals, and the leaves that compose in its waters give it its dark color. It's like swimming in hot chocolate, really. Now, when the tide is high, the beach turns into light green. It's quite a spectacle to watch. Hey guys, so, Merry Christmas, yes. It's Christmas day, and here I am in the chocolate beaches of Caraiva, in the, the southern state of Bahia, in the northeast of Brazil, once again. It's a magical place, I've never seen, I had never seen like chocolate beaches, um, but that happens because of the rivers here. Um, the sediments from the river and the color of the leaves and soil and everything, it's a combination of factors. Uh, so the water gets like this. Really, really, really dark brown. I mean, it's like chocolate. And it's a mixture between salt and uh, river water. Um, it's a lovely place. It's magical here. When my friends told me I didn't believe. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. It's different. It's, I, just, I can't explain it. It's like a hippie village, hipster village at the same time. Very eco-friendly, cool people, summer sports, whatever, water sports. Pretty awesome. I'm loving it so far. Oh. Don't forget to bring cash because they don't accept credit cards nor debit cards that often, okay?
10 minutes away from my hotel, you find the beautiful Baja Beach. In English, it will be called Barrier Beach. One side of the beach is fresh water and the other side of the beach is the sea. It's perfect for relaxing and having a few beers. Yes, the river is indeed narrow, but don't try to swim across the river because it can get pretty tricky. Get on a canoe if you want to cross to the other side. It will cost you only 5 reais or $1.25 US, so don't take the risk. If you decide to walk and explore other paradisiac beaches, you can. Just over 3 kilometers away or 1.9 miles away, you'll find Satu's beach, which is perfect for snorkeling. If you feel even more adventurous, you can reach one of Brazil's four most beautiful beaches, Praia do Espelho or Mirror Beach. To get there, you can walk from Cariva. It's a three-hour walk and you'll see many incredible beaches on the way there. If you decide to do that though, check how high the tide will be, so you must go when the tide is low. If you do walk to Praia do Espelho or Mirror Beach, you should organize a taxi to take you back to Caraiva. That will cost you 160 reais or 40 US dollars. If you hire a taxi to take you to Mirror Beach and bring you back to Caraiva, that will cost you 300 reais or 75 US dollars. If you decide to go by boat, it will cost you around 150 reais or 38 US dollars round trip, so it's cheaper. If you decide to visit Satu's Beach or Mirror Beach tomorrow and enjoy your time here at Baja Beach, once you get a bit hungry, you can go to a very famous local bar called Boteco do Pará or Pará's Bar, which is only a 10 minute walk from Baja Beach following the river all the way back into the village center. So I had, I had problems with my drone and uh, couldn't film it properly, but I managed to film part of the sunset. And look, tides up, so I think it's underwater. After a 10 minute walk, you get to Liars Point or Ponto dos Mentirosos, which is exactly where Boteco do Pará is located. Once you're there, you can grab something to eat or drink. The price of a 1 liter bottle of beer, for example, goes for 16 reais or 4 US dollars, and fresh cupuaçu juice goes for 12 reais or 3 US dollars.
best kapusu juice I've had since I've lived in the Amazon. Awesome. So I'm gonna dedicate this moment to my friend Poliani who's told me to come to this place and have this pastry made of ray, stingray, which is absolutely amazing. Stingray, stingray and cheese and completely natural juice called kupwasu juice, which is amazing, 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 amazing. Mm, in heaven right now. The bar is famous for its fried stingray pastries. Prices range between 9 to 12 reais or $2.25 to 3 US dollars and my favorite flavor is stingray with cheese. It's amazing. The village is crowded with Native Americans so it's no surprise that you can buy beautiful handcraft from local natives. That really helps the community so don't be shy and buy as much as you can from the natives, okay? In Caraiva, one can eat really good food for days, like acarajé, which is a large dumpling made from beans, deep fried in dende oil and filled with veggies, shrimps, etc. You can also eat delicious tapioca pancakes at either the local guest houses or in the center of town. I've eaten these at my hotel, Jombrero, and it was delicious. You can also eat a seafood stew served inside a pumpkin. Wow! Or even a shrimp stew served inside a pineapple. Both are called moquecas. It's Native American food and it reminds me a lot of the food I had in Cambodia and Indonesia. Not only the food, but the local Native American people kind of look like the Indonesians and Cambodian people as well. Well, you can also order a bowl of acai and kupuasu cream filled with granola and fruits, which is also very yummy. Food here is very tasty, but keep in mind you can't leave this place without trying the stingray pastry with cheese from Boteco do Pará, okay? So let's walk around the village, shall we? Let's go! Hey, remember that at the beginning of this video I told you to make a left after you get off the canoe. Everything I've shown you so far is to the left, to the left of the little port. So what happens if you turn right instead? If you walk 5 to 10 minutes to your right, to your right, 
up the hill, you get to the Church of Saint Sebastian, which is very old, and it was built by some of the first Portuguese settlers centuries ago, using stone, shells, and whale oil. When in Cariba, take this opportunity to go to Corumbau Beach as well on a boogie. Corumbau Beach is a 40-minute boogie ride away from Cariba. The local natives will charge you anywhere between 200 to 350 reais or from 50 to 9 US dollars for the car, round trip, and they'll wait for you to get back from Corumbau at a given point, for hours and hours, that's what I mean. But you need to negotiate, okay? If you go on your own, prices will vary from 120 to 150 per person depending on the season. The boogie drivers are very, very friendly, but are experienced negotiators too, so don't forget to negotiate your price and the time you'll be picked up and head back to Cariba, okay? Hey guys, so it works like this. I paid 120, 130 reais uh, for my boogie ride all the way from town from uh, Caraiva till here, which which takes about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. And then from there, you, you get here, you arrive in this place, which is an Indian village, Indian Native American, okay? So it's a Native American uh, village. From here, you pay 10 reais, okay? Which covers round trip, hop on a boat, cross onto the other side, walk maybe three to 400 yards, uh, and then you see another village, walk past the village, then there's an amazing, beautiful beach. Check this out. The driver dropped me off at St. Sebastian Church and I walked all the way from there to Baja Beach. Check out how green the water is right now when the tide is high, it's so pretty. The sunsets here are amazing. Come along and I'm gonna show you what the village looks like at night. I'm so excited, let's go. As the sun sets, the village center becomes alive. On the way back from the beach, Boteco do Pará gets really crowded and as the night falls, people take the village streets and party the night away, believe me. At the village center, you'll find all sorts, Japanese food, sushi, that's what I mean, Italian, Brazilian, Native American food, Lebanese food, acai joints, bars, so on and so forth. Don't forget to dance a local rhythm called forró or to pay a visit to Boteco da Lua or the Moon Alleyway for it's filled with cozy places to eat and drink.
the Church of St. Sebastian looks really pretty at night. Take the time to check it out as well. Hey guys, there's so much more to Cariva than what I've shown you so far. Come see it for yourself. The simplicity and beauty of this place are truly captivating. No wonder the Portuguese first settled here in 1530. Smart guys. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to access my travel blog and sign the newsletter at TravelZillaIM.com. Guys, see you on my next videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.